Welcome to the second lesson in the Google Analytics series. In this video, I'll show you how to use the real-time report to view details about what people are currently doing on your website. We'll also walk through two important configuration options. These are linking Google Analytics to your Google Ads and Google Search Console accounts. We're going to start by looking at the real-time report. Before we do, I want to quickly mention that in the first lesson in this series, we covered how to get started with Google Analytics. So if you missed it, I've included a link for you in the description below this video. Okay, let's start by heading to my demo website. Since we've now installed Google Analytics on our website, we will be collecting data into our reports. A great way to check that everything is working is to open the real-time report. Before we open the report, Let's send some events to Google Analytics by navigating through my demo site. Let's navigate to another page. And let's scroll down the page. You can do the same on your own website. And if there is a particular action you want to check is being tracked, you can also perform that action. For example, if you want to check that embedded YouTube videos are being tracked, then click your video to start playing it. Or if you want to check that outbound links are being tracked, then click on the outbound link. Okay, now let's head to Google Analytics. And let's navigate to Reports and select Real Time. This report shows you what people are currently doing on your website. It includes users from the last 30 minutes we can see a visualization of where people are located at the top. We can then see the number of users for the last 30 minutes. Below this, there are details for how people first found our website. If they're included in any audiences that have been configured for our Google Analytics property, the pages they're viewing, events that have been collected, if any conversions have been tracked as key events, and any custom information we've tracked about our users. Some of the most useful information in this report is found in the event count by event name card. This shows you all of the events that have been tracked. And it's really useful for checking if data is being tracked correctly because you can click on the name of an event to then see additional information that has been collected. Let's select the page view event. This shows us all of the information called parameters that have been collected with the page view. For example, selecting the page location parameter lets us see the URLs of the pages people have viewed. This includes the pages we just loaded on my demo site. So using the real-time report is one way to check that data has been collected into your Google Analytics reports. You'll need to wait a day for data to appear in the other standard reports. Until then, they will be blank. Let's take a look. Let's navigate to Acquisition and then Overview. Because I have just created this Google Analytics property, we can see this standard report is blank. So we will need to wait 24 hours before data will appear in these reports. Moving forward, you'll build up historical data you can use to understand the performance of your website and marketing campaigns in Google Analytics. While we wait for data to appear in our reports, there are two important things we can configure. We can link our Google Ads and Google Search Console accounts to Google Analytics. To do this, let's navigate to Admin. Now we can select the product we want to link in the Product Links card. Or we can select Product Links on the left and then select one of the options. Let's choose Google Ads Links. To link Google Ads to Google Analytics, you will need the correct level of permission in both products. You will need Marketer, Editor or Administrator permission in Google Analytics and Administrator permission in Google Ads. If you don't have the correct permissions for both platforms, then you won't be able to link your accounts. If this is the case, then you will need to ask someone who does have the correct level of permission to link the accounts or ask them to increase your permissions. 
Since I do have the correct permission in both products, let's click Link on the top right corner. Now we need to select the account or accounts we want to link to. So let's select Choose Google Ads Accounts. Once we've selected the account or accounts we want to link, we click Confirm. And let's click Next. Let's leave the default settings and click Next again. Now let's click Submit. We can see it says Link Created, so we know we've linked Google Ads and Google Analytics. I also recommend taking the time to link Google Analytics and Google Search Console. So let's select Search Console Links. Again, you'll need the correct level of permission in both Google Analytics and Search Console to link the products. Since I do, let's click Link on the top right corner. Now let's select Choose Accounts and select the Google Search Console account we want to link. Now let's click Confirm. Then we click Next. Now we need to select the web stream that you will use to track the same website from Google Search Console. Let's select the data stream. Now let's click Next. And finally we click Submit. We've now linked Google Search Console and Google Analytics. So that's how we can link Google Search Console and Google Ads, and how to use the real-time report to understand what people are currently doing on our website. Have you checked the real-time report and linked Search Console and Ads? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to learn more about Google Analytics, please subscribe to my channel because I will be releasing more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.